we're interested in melanocytes, in the pigment cells of the skin, the hair, and even certain other organs of the body. The main function of the melanocyte is pretty simple. It's to, to make melanin, um, and melanin comes in different flavors. There's the dark melanin that's present in, um, in all of our skin, um, as well as in the hair of people with brown or black hair. That's called eumelanin, and that is uh, very advantageous for us because that is one of the components that protects us from ultraviolet radiation. Um, melanocytes also make a different type of melanin called pheomelanin. This is the yellow or red melanin that is especially evident in men and women who have red hair. When melanocytes either disappear or simply don't function at all, um, the result of that in humans is, is a disease called vitiligo. This is a depigmenting disease. Um, in which individuals will progressively develop um, either in a very focal, localized manner or sometimes um, affecting many regions of the body, a complete absence of pigment in the skin, sometimes the hair as well. And this can be very disfiguring. We're interested in a category of the melanocyte called the melanocyte stem cell. So we've heard a lot about stem cells um, these days there are embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. The melanocyte stem cell is like the progenitor, the precursor cell to the fully functioning pigmented melanocyte that works really well to confer pigment to our hair. And we, um, we have known for about a decade that there's a very small reservoir of melanocyte stem cells that exists in a very specialized region of the hair follicle. We, were f we wanted to first identify and then study how we can stimulate these melanocyte stem cells towards producing mature melanocytes and thereby producing pigmented cells. And Dr. Joshi is using a mouse model that we developed to not only identify those cells, but um, really try to dissect the different qualities of the melanocyte stem cell, understand what it is that, number one, keeps them alive, um, two, might keep them dormant, and three, what might be useful to activate dormant cells that could um, be effective in proliferating the, the number that would be required to repigment someone with vitiligo.